What's going on champs and champions, it's FireMonkey here, and if you haven't been paying attention to Fortnite since the V24.40 update, aka if you just haven't really played the game recently, you may not have known about a very important change that Epic Games had actually made, where they had removed the trios mode option from the game. This came with a lot of controversy, right? Originally, the d update for the game got delayed by one day, and with that delay, they randomly, just out of the blue, were like, hey, by the way, trios is gonna go poof for a little bit, we don't know why, and it didn't even sound like it was going going to be a temporary poof, right? They just kind of they set it as in, hey, we are vaulting the trio's game mode option and you just kind of have to go with the other ones, right? If you want to play with three people, play squads. Do no fill or fill with a random person or, you know, beg people on Twitter until you get your fourth person in the game because there is no way for you to play trios anymore. However, out of absolutely nowhere yesterday, Epic Games put out a tweet being like, hey guys, guess what? It, trios, we, we brought it back to the game. You want to play trios? Bada bing, bada boop. It's right there. Now they did mention that trios does not exist in ranked mode. So if we enable ranked right here, as you can see, we only have duos or zero build. And then for actual battle royale, you know, with building enabled and everything, they only have solos, duos, and squads. But they at least re-enabled trios for normal modes, right? They re-enabled it for the normal non-ranked modes and everything like that. And there's been a lot of people who have been kind of curious of what's going on here because I know some people have actually been wondering, right? They were like looking at it, all the statistics and everything and they were like I wonder if they removed trios because the player count was lower or something like that right because if we actually go ahead and look at the statistics which I'll go ahead and pull up a website here for you guys then you can actually see something very interesting. When it comes to ranked and non-ranked, rank is a smaller proportion of the, you know, the player base being 29% of people playing Battle Royale or Zero Build, with 71% of the players playing non-ranked modes right now. And keep in mind, this is a lower point in the day for Fortnite. They typically peak up in the higher areas and a little bit over the 1 million area later on the day. Right now, we only have 907,000 people on, but in terms of mode, Solos is the most popular. Actually, Duos is the most popular by 2,000 players, basically, with solos following shortly behind and then squads being the third most popular and then the least popular mode being trios which still has 32,000 people playing it right now this is across every single region combined right here but it does show that even before this actual change went into place a lot of people were thinking they were removing trios because out of the four mode options it was the least popular one and they didn't want people you know filling in with more and more bots you know using trios as their bot lobby in a way if you get what I mean by that and in order to get easy wins or something like that. So they kind of removed it. That was the kind of the theory everyone was thinking of. And then I was thinking maybe they just removed it for a temporary amount of time because there was either a bug with it or because they wanted to, you know, make sure the matchmaking queue times are ranked were going to be fine, which we're in a very interesting spot for ranked right now, where if you're a very high rank, then you have to wait like 30 minutes to an hour on like EU servers, you know, the most popular ranked area in order to even find a match. So it's like, even with the matchmaking times, right? Even without trios, matchmaking was going to be high anyways. So they finally re-enabled it back into the game. You can do all your normal stuff. And of course, bot lobbies are supported in both Battle Royale and Zero Build. Of course, not in ranked modes. You can't do bot lobbies in those modes unless I guess you're in like the bronze division or something. But even if you're in bronze, you probably, you know, are that rank anyways. But yeah, they randomly re-enabled trios. And it's been a nice little change to see them do because it's been something that a lot of people have been complaining about. And me as someone who really plays trios a lot when I'm playing with one or two other friends, it's just nice to see re it return to the game. So for today's question comment of the day, I want to know down below, what do you guys think about trios being re-enabled as an actual option that you'll be able to use whenever you're picking up whatever mode you want to play or whatever? Are you happy to see it's back? Do you wish it was in ranked mode? How do you feel about everything? Now regarding ranked mode, I can confirm that they at least do have a trios playlist for both zero build and battle royale. So if they want to, they can enable a trios uh, ranked mode at any time for both of the modes. They just kind of have to flip some switches and it'll basically be all good, right? But at least for right now, it appears that it's only going to return in normal modes so that's something we kind of just got to get used to for now right you know it's like we kind of get it but we kind of don't get it at the same time which i still feel like at least having it you know in the normal modes is better than having it in both normal modes and ranked because ranked is already in this interesting spot where you know queue times are really high there's a lot of situations going on with that so just making sure that people can at least enjoy you know the normal trios experience without actually having to worry about queue times or anything like that is nice enough and then you know later down the line if the game gets 
gets a more bigger boom to the arena system, or I guess the rank system, mind you, then they can go ahead and decide to reevaluate and potentially enable trios in those modes later down the line. But yeah, with that said, I'm happy to see this in the game because now it means less people on my Twitter feed complaining that they can't play the game because they don't have a fourth person to go with them. Because, you know, now this means I can continue to be introverted, and whenever I see those people on Twitter, I don't have to sit there in the back of my mind being like, should I interact with these people for the first time in a million years? Nah, I'm just going to hope and pray that they find someone to play with them because I am an antisocial weirdo. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's short little YouTube video. I just thought I would inform you guys about the ranked mode returning. As a little bit of a side note for someone who may have watched all the way to the end of this video, the Academy Champion skins, which are the very customizable skins that, you know, have options for like multicolored hair and all that type of stuff, will be releasing in the item shop tonight so if you plan on picking those up you know consider using my code hashtag uh, epic partner to you know support me you know code fire monkey i don't know why my words got jumbled there and with that said that's pretty much it for today's video like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it and i'll catch you guys tomorrow with another upload peace out